Disclaimer, all topics in this video are alleged and allegedly, and they are strictly for entertainment purposes only. Hey, Evans, I do watch you. When you've been doing your post about me, great job. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Jay Evans, the voice of the people, baby, with an important question. Somebody show Carly Russell, Smollett, Amber Heard Jr. this video. Sis, depending on if these folks press charges on you and send you to the big house, you might have time to watch every video that's going to be done about you. Sis, why would you do that? You didn't have to do that. Baby, if you felt like getting away and escaping and living a lie, you could have turned on an episode of Mr. Rogers and went to the damn land of make-believe. Y'all know he used to take a trip to the land of make-believe. That's what you was giving us, sis. Now, if I didn't learn nothing else from this story about Carly, because it's been verified now, the police didn't spoke up. The first thing I learned is if Carly don't do nothing else, she gonna lie. That's the first thing. Number two, she love those cheesy crackers, baby. The cheesy crackers is throughout this whole story. Now, truth told, I don't like the regular ones. I do like the white cheddar ones. So, Carly, I mean, if those are the ones you like, sis, I understand. Three, she liked that hair, baby. You done left the wig in the car, then you talking about the woman fed you cheesy crackers and played in your hair. Carly, really? She played in your hair, baby? Oh, my God. And you love searching the internet. Now, that's where you went wrong, sis. In a digital world of phones, laptops, videos, and ring doorbells, you got caught and blew up your spot all four of them ways, baby. I don't care if you try to delete your searches from your phone or your laptop. We live in a world of text, police. They gonna be able to dig it up. Video surveillance. Y'all know um, cameras is in traffic lights now it's on buildings it's on every corner they can record everything they got you sis ring doorbells in people neighborhood they get stuff carly these folks said they just saw you walking up by yourself sis and then just got to your house talking about you escaped you escaped all right now the sixty three thousand dollars that has been collected for you they say that this money is going to be given back so you will not be buying any cheesy crackers with that baby now they said um you went to work and they found out that you had a bathrobe toilet paper you stopped by target to get you some granola bars and some cheesy crackers there go them damn crackers again baby okay and carly since they played the 911 call you was lying on the call the whole time but then you couldn't even figure out if you was in an suv or a sedan you got tripped up on that what is going on with you sis now, you said a man picked you up after you were trying to help a child that you saw, and you said the man had orange hair with a bald spot. They took some pictures of you, and you heard a woman. You didn't see her, but you heard her, and they didn't tie you up because they didn't want to leave any impressions on your hands, but that's what they did, and you think they might have took pictures of you, but they didn't touch you or do anything to you, and you heard a baby crying that's what you said carly smollett baby i you know what sis i why did you do this they even looked at your searches you looked up the movie taken you were searching for bus tickets this is what i want to know do you feel bad because it's summertime summertime in the south hits different i've been living in the south since i was 14 and summers hit different so you got your friends and your family out in all this heat it's bad enough that it's hot, but then they blood pressure probably up because they think of somebody that took you and they out in this heat searching for you and you laid up eating cheesy crackers, playing in your hair, baby, or combing your tracks, or, you know, playing with your other wig. And these folks think of somebody that took you, you around here eating cheesy crackers and granola bars. Now, since you should be ashamed of your damn self, baby. It, oh. What is this world coming to, y'all? And then I feel like, too, a lot of people say when it comes to black women, P 
people don't take it as serious. There's not like searches done when people go missing. So people went hard for you, Carly, and you out here playing lollipop games when you could have just watched the episode of Sesame Street. You could have watched the episode of Darkwing Duck. DuckTales, if you wanted to be in a fantasy world like a child, go watch cartoons. Go watch Mr. Rogers. Don't be playing these lollipop games out here, baby. And these people think it's somebody that abducted you. But they need to do you like the old people used to do us and be like, go outside, get a switch, and get the biggest switch you can find. And if you get a little switch, you don't want me to go out there and get the big switch and tear your tail up. That's how the old people say, I'm going to tear your tail up. That's what they need to do to you. A lot of people think she should be given jail time. Um, but sis, you, you definitely out here giving Jesse Smollett, okay? Carly Russell Smollett, Amber Heard Jr. Sis, you should be ashamed of yourself. What they probably need to do since you like cheesy crackers so much is revoke your cheesy crackers privileges for the rest of your life. You can't buy no box of cheesy crackers. You want to sit up here and tell these folks these lies and then they piece the story together we live in a digital age and you really thought you was gonna get away with this baby now you should be ashamed of yourself they definitely need to take um your cheesy crackers privileges away take your you know your hair privileges away take your cell phone away but we gonna have to see if they gonna do something to you sis um i i just can't with this car i can't y'all i can't I can't believe this girl had these people just going crazy. And they took up money for you. This is a hot garbage can mess, baby. That's what this is. Carly, sis, do better, baby. Do better. Maybe you've eaten too many cheesy crackers. That's all, y'all. I just had to come in and give y'all this because people was hitting me up. And I started looking at the stuff and the videos and them talking about and run down a list of Carly. Now you do like Target. Um, okay, so you ain't shopping in Walmart for your cheesy crackers. And you done stole this these people. Did you steal the money? They said some money was in your sock. So did you steal some money from work and stash it to, you know, the side of your sock for your cheesy crackers and granola bars? I can't buy get caught up on my divas of music interview segment. Take a look at the legendary divas I've interviewed. I want to learn how to dance, anything. And you need somebody to be patient with you. This is who you call. She's who would you want to play you in a biopic of your life story? Oh, my God. I've never been asked this question. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're not that type of group that was put together. Okay, we put ourselves together. So, therefore, that puts a different kind of seal on... Uh, your relationship or new additions uh, manager Brooke Payne as well so we talk about that in the book like what happened with our journey with Brooke Payne you know it was right it was the right you know our approach to it was correct but with Get Out the content was my girlfriend needed to hear that I needed to hear that my auntie needed to hear that you know Shanika down the street needed to hear it. like that that's when I was like, because mm -mm, every time I sang it, it was like, thank you. You know that organ is Donny Hathaway. <gasps> no, my gosh. That's what? Donny Hathaway. Yep. Because, you know, he was on Atlantic with Aretha, and he played on a lot of her stuff. Oh, my gosh. That's Donny gosh. Hathaway. Wow. That's Donny. Thank you. You are a genius with your history here, <laughs> uh, Jay. You're giving me life right now today. I love this. Thank you so